Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Five-year-old Mikhail Allen is battling for his life in the St. Anne's Bay Regional Hospital after being mauled by dogs in St. Deca near Alexandria on Sunday. The incident comes as Parliament deliberates on a dog legislation which would make the owners of dogs criminally responsible for attacks. Broadcaster Markland Edwards says he has applied to the Jamaica Labour Party to be its candidate for mayor of the Portmore municipality in the next local government polls due by February next year. The current mayor is the PNP's Leon Thomas. A petition was launched Sunday by lobbyists pressing for the Holness administration to reverse its decision to permit limestone mining in the Puerto Buena Mountains, home to a variety of endangered and endemic species and critical watersheds. The mining company Bengal Development Limited has projected $635 million in taxes and 100 jobs over the 20-year project, which the Prime Minister says is important to economic growth. Overseas, early data from U.S. company Moderna shows that a new vaccine that protects against COVID-19 is nearly 95% effective. The results follow similar news last week from Pfizer and add to growing confidence that vaccines can help end the pandemic. In sports, International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach says Olympic participants and fans arriving for next year's postponed Tokyo Games will be encouraged to be vaccinated to protect the Japanese public. Mr. Bach said it won't be mandatory, but he left no doubt it will be strongly pushed. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $147.14, the British pound sterling for $197.20, and the Canadian dollar for $112.61. In your weather forecast, on Tuesday, expect scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms mainly across southern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Jovan Johnson.